Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. Been covering the 2021 IRC International Residential Code. We've been talking about safety glass. Where is it? Where is it supposed to be? Well, today we're talking about R308.4.5 glazing and wet surfaces. To me, as a home builder, this is like uh, in bathrooms, but it could also be around swimming pools, things like that. But for us, we're going to take a look at the words, and here they are. And what does it say? It says glazing in walls, enclosures, or fences containing or adjacent to hot tub spas, uh, whirlpools, saunas, saunas, steam rooms, bathtubs and showers, and indoor or outdoor swimming pools. I don't have one of those. Uh, where the bottom of the exposed edge of the glazing, again, it's the bottom of the glazing, not the frame of the vinyl window or anything like that, to the edge of the glazing is 60 inches measured vertically above any standing or walking surface, shall be considered a hazard this location, thus you need safety glass. What's the walking surface? Well, sometimes it's usually the floor, right? Well, sometimes we have big drop-in tubs or something that might have a deck around them that you could walk on. That could be your walking surface. Or maybe it's the tub itself when you're down in the tub. So we're going to look at that here in just a second. Of course, there are some exceptions. But, uh, now, this one is rather simple to understand. Glazing that is more than 60 inches measured horizontally. Here we talked vertically first. Now we're talking horizontally. So if it's five feet away or more, from the water's edge of a bathtub, or water's edge, that's a key term that I'll mention here in just a second, of the bathtub, hot tub, spa, you don't have to have safety glass. So if you're in a bathroom and that window over there is five feet away from the tub or the shower, eh, doesn't need safety glass. Again, you can always go above code and make it safety glass. There's nothing that says that, but uh, we'll go from there. So here's my imaginary bathroom that Dave created, and here's my cryptic little bathtub sitting in the corner of the room, and I've got two windows. One is here, one is here. Pretty simple. But you'll notice I drew my edge of the arrow to the edge of the water's edge, not to the edge of the tub, because again, the words say from the water's edge. So if this tub were to fill up, that line is where, again, some tubs have edges that are six or eight inches wide. So that's a little bit different. So I'm measuring to the water's edge, which is right there, 60 inches. It's five feet out. So what happens after that? So within that five foot dimension, that 60 inches, yes, Safety glass here, assuming it's 60 inches you know, below this line up here on the wall. We'll see that in a second. Within 60 inches, that is a yes. This would be a no. So what does this look like? Well, is before we get there, let's also mention that that's 60 inch rule. So then if I had my tape measure, I would measure around my tub. Anything in this arc going around a tub or a shower, just make sure anything within 60 inches, that glass is going to be tempered. All righty. So in elevation, what does this look like? So this is that same thing. Here's my tub measured to the water's edge on the inside side of this little drawing. And then here is my 60 inch line. So I'm gonna do that and 60 inches up, up here. So technically this one needs to be safety glass and this one. If this divided light window, if that's what it was, was if this line was above the 60 inch line, this one would be safety glass and this one would not. But in this particular example, both of them are safety glass. And again, this one being so far out past the 60 inch, the five foot line, none of them need to be safety glass. So that one is a big red no. Now let's twist it up a little bit here, different kinds of windows. Now I see a lot of this. I see little one foot or two foot windows above a tub. And so when I'm measuring above a tub, I will measure to the walking surface. So to me, I get inside the tub and I measure from the bottom of the tub up to 60 inches and that's where i make my decision in this case both of my windows are above 60 inches so these would have to be no so here i measure from the top of the tub here i measure from the floor if they're beyond 60 don't have to worry about it and then again if i'm measuring out 60 inches from the water's edge this one would not have to be safety glass because it's five more than five feet away so Pretty simple rules about safety glass at wet areas. Hope uh, you learned a little bit. Um, let me know if uh, you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you on the next video from Homes Built Right. So long, everybody.